Uh, good morning from the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. Today's a real special day, great day to start off with something exciting. And you know if you're a Leica shooter, when you see a box like this, <laughs> you know what's coming. So getting this camera, many of you who've been following me for a while know that I, I'm a black and white shooter, but I was shooting with a color camera and doing the conversion. And my argument for not getting a monochrome only camera is to just use the color sliders to enhance your post process. Well, the problem with that is I like the traditional black and white film feel of shooting. And you don't get that with the color camera. You can't use your orange filters, your red filters, your yellow, green, etc. So I decided just to go back and uh, shoot a little bit of my black and white photography on a monochrome. And I'll tell you, it's nice to go back to the old way. So mounted on our M11 monochrome, we have the 35 Sumalux version 2 f1.4. And that's with the Series 7 filter holder on the front. You can see I got an orange filter on there now. You may ask, why did I get this lens since I had the Remake 35 Summa Lux version 1.4? And the reason behind that is I heard so many good things about this lens. And as far as its rendering goes, it's a little bit more flawed in the rendering. The glass is obviously retro. It's original from back in the day back in the late 60s, early 70s. And I just wanted to try it and see how it uh, how it renders. So let's take it out. We got the M11 monochrome and the 35 Sumalux version two. And let's hit the back roads of Appalachia, North Carolina. Oh, and one more thing before we head out and hit the uh, road shooting. You notice I got a new camera strap also. This is the Joe Greer 27 inch camera strap. And you can see it really sits really high on your chest and very fast to get it up to the eye, especially if you're doing street photography. Uh, it feels a little different. It kind of makes the camera feel a little bit like a necklace. So I really don't know if this is what I want to do or I want to have a regular traditional camera strap that sits lower. So we're trying to figure out which works best. But you can see it's a pretty short strap. So over the next few videos, I'll let you know uh, what I think of this. I have to say, some of the signs we encounter when we're out and about just have a message that resonates. Ah! Look at this nice country church here. Bad. This light post is in the way. It's kind of <clears throat> messing with my composition. Time I back up, that post just creeps in there. I'm trying to get this with the 35 millimeter. Oh, I got some deer, deer playing in the meadow here. Kind of chasing each other around. Should I run out and do a quick shot and run back in and get out of here? Yeah, go for it. Alright, let's go check out the Tomato Shack. Alright, we're shooting on the M11 Monochrome with the 35 F2 version 4 Sumacron Boca King. All right. 
Let's see what this man wear magic lens can do here. Huh? Silver Queen corn. Let's shoot this wide open. crazy about this angle because you got that billboard kind of behind and to the right there just detracts a little bit You gotta love people that think they're cute and they like scream at you and they drive by to try to like startle you. It's happened to me so many times, I don't even move or flinch anymore. It's pretty much ineffective, but they try it anyway. Well, this is gonna make an interesting shot. Let's stop down to F2. Get the door and the flag intact focus here. Interesting effect with the chain link fence. Like us on Facebook, the Tomato Shack. Just working the scene. Trying different angles, different compositions. You know, especially if you're shooting digital. I mean, the film I could see you being a little bit more conservative with your shots, but when you're shooting digital, just crank away. Try different stuff, experiment, have fun. You'd be surprised what you get. Ooh, I like this open sign right here. Of course, you see my, you see my reflection in it. So this might be a little no bueno, we'll see here. It is what it is. Oh, this is cool in here. Can get some detail shots of some some buckets. The locals told me I should head across town and check out this abandoned church. I didn't care for this shot and angle because of these tree limbs sticking in the frame. Definitely don't want to be pulling your car in here unless you got some kind of crazy lifted off-road thing. It's a pretty big cravat right here. Definitely a bottom out on that. Now some more shots around Western North Carolina.
Now enjoy some film shots, shot on Kodak Portra in the M7. Traveling around the country, we meet some very interesting people on the road. At the KOA in Boone, North Carolina, I noticed this German couple living in a school bus, and they'd make a great subject for a portrait. Now, is the dog from Germany, too? Uh-huh, yeah, we brought her. Oh, wow. nice. Was it hard to bring the dog across? It was, yeah. yeah. yeah have shots and everything? And... I mean, the shots was not like, it was just uh, rabies. Okay. This was the only one, but like... I guess like the flight itself for her was hard. Oh yeah. Yeah, we oh, yeah. tried everything to bring her up in a like passenger cabin, mm -hmm. but she had to go with the oh. suitcases. Oh, that's hard. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I just want to stand over there by the bus. I'll just get a few shots of you. This is just really relaxed. You don't have to be super formal or anything <laughs> okay. like that. Some of these shots will be in black and white too. So Let's see if we can get the kids to look over this way. Perfect. Hi. We can get the dog in there too. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then you just look at your husband as he's like coming out, like you're kind of greeting him or whatever. <laughs> Perfect. I can't say it enough. Just get out and print your images. These are coming out absolutely wonderful. We got a chuckle when you first drove in and we saw the side. It said, Green County Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like... Remember, share your photography, especially to those people who are important. And for the 35mm version 2 Sumalux, well, that earned a spot in my bag to complement the version 1 steel rim remake. The two lenses will be wonderful to use. Expect to see more images from this lens in coming videos. Okay folks, that's it for this video. The journey continues. <music>